Hey guys, welcome back to Leading Edge Cricket. I'm Rob, one half of Leading Edge Cricket, and today we're back on episode 11 of this England journey, road to number one, and we are about to play the second test match against Sri Lanka. The first test match, hey, well, it didn't quite go as we planned. We managed to pull out a famous draw, and I say famous because they were on the verge of winning. They literally needed two runs to win off the last over, but some decent bowling by Benny Code, one for 38 off 13 overs, just managed to restrict them just enough to give us a draw. Now, the team isn't quite humming at the moment. If we look at what we've done against Sri Lanka, Hamid's averaging 30 from the first test. We'll route 35. He's off to a decent start in test cricket. With the ball, Ben Stokes had a rare bad test. And Matt Parkinson, hey, that didn't quite work out, that experiment. And the question is, do we give him another test? The wear's good. The bounce is perfect. This shouldn't really be... We probably can just go in a rocking and a rolling and let's go flying. So let's do it. We're straight in. We're calling tails. And we've lost the toss and we're going to bowl first, which is bad news. Which means we're probably going to chase in leather whilst they oh, tee up about 400 runs. Jimmy Anderson to get us underway. With, or oh, a wicket, early doors. There's already been a play and a miss. You can see there, but it's LBW and it's balls okay. It's struck in line, taking the top of off. Anderson gets Mendes, he gets Silver, that is huge start to the game. Stuart Broad, my lord, into the attack as well. Broadie, well, they all like it on the front foot, don't they? Except you, Mendes doesn't like it on the front foot, so we're going to bowl nice and full to him. We're going to get a wicket, I've messed up the angles, the angles are all over the place, but we do have ourselves a wicket, it's a wicket. Broadie gets Mendes for 11. Can we get another one before the change of bowling? The answer, my friend, is going to be no. It's going to be Ben Code. It's going to be Ben Stokes. Oh, we've got a pair of Bens on the pitch looking to take some wickets. I'm dropping the aggression down as they go 100 for two into lunch. Feeling probably pretty good about things and pretty good about life and looking to build a really big partnership. We are going to get a wicket. Parkinson to Matthews. LBW, his second test wicket. Take that, sir. That one coming in his first over. We needed that. Ben Stokes back into the attack. It's going to be Parkinson again. He's going to make it 170 for four. LBW again. It's an LBW sort of game. We've got three LBWs on the board already. And we're going to get the fifth wicket. Another LBW. Silver goes for 12. Jai Sarir unlucky makes 99. After scoring 90 in the first test, oh, we'll be ruining them. Just think of what happened with Alex Hales. He got three scores of 80 and above. Never scored 100. Well, it wasn't quite good enough. The lad ended up getting dropped, didn't he? It could well happen here, could not it? Could well happen here. Now we've got... Let's go with Ben Code for a couple of overs just before the new ball is due. They do take the new ball. De Silva's batting very well. And they're looking quite set. Anderson's going to get De Silva LBW. That looked a little bit high. He goes for 68. Stokes to push back Amara. He goes bold. Second ball. Stokes to Gamage. Gone. Coming back in. What a wonderful ball that. He's on a hat-trick. He's on a hat-trick. Let's have a look at the hat-trick ball. It's a hat-trick ball for Ben Stokes. He beats the outside edge. Well bowled, sir. As we only need one more wicket. To finish off the innings, it's going to be 306 all out. Nicely done. Cordon bowled for Ben Stokes. He's back to his best, picking up three for 60. Brody, three for 60 as well. Big partnership by Jaya Saria and Matthews at the top of the order. Really did the, the, did the hard work for them and back pretty good. Brody with three, Anderson two. Parkinson, two for 56. Much better return for that guy. I'm quite happy with how that went. Now I'm going to, while we're batting, I'm up in the highlights and we're going to see some boundaries. That's a beautiful looking shot by Alistair Cook. Well played, sir. He is having a great year, a calendar year, one to ride home about. Hamid, four off the back foot. Question is, how long do we give Hamid as an opener? We've been asking this question from the start and I'm still in the same predicament that England are in real life. We just can't quite get ourselves an opener settled down. That's pitched miles outside leg, but you've seen him given. You've seen him given cook edges away, and it's going to be four. Gets a little bit fortunate. Fernando causing problems, beats the outside edge there. But we're ticking along okay. We're 44, we're 48 for none with that boundary from Cook. And hopefully, hopefully, this is just going to be worked away, and it's going to take us through 250 partnership. But Hami goes for 22. Problematic. Still got a problem at opening. Now, we've got this young opener, I think it was Selwyn, who could come in for the third test. We might need to bring him in. I am slightly worried that we're in danger of losing this test match, as this could be trouble. They're coming back for number two. Cook, what have you done? Oh, he's run out by half the pitch. He's gone for 25. Oh, Alistair, 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 Alistair Cook, what are you doing? Will Root goes first ball. We're in strife. Bearstow, hat-trick ball. Da-danger! Oh, he swept it away for four. 
as you do. You just hat trick ball. I'm going to sweep it away for. I did that once. Playing away one day, the guy was on a hat trick spinner. I came down the wicket and hit him for six over his head. Why did you do that? And everyone was looking at me like, oh, you're an idiot. Well, no, no. I've paid my seven pounds to play a game of cricket. I'm going to enjoy myself doing it. Besto on strike, 72 for three. Besto scores a hell of a lot of boundaries. They've done, if you've noticed, since we've gone to a bit, bit of a lengthier view of the episodes, but it seems every single time Besto's there, chipping away with a few boundaries, keeping the balls rocking and rolling. That one from Pushback Morris smashed off the back foot for four. Gamish to Root. Now, I forgot Root was still in, but that's a wonderful shot. Times the pants off it. And Besto with a beautiful looking on drive. Takes the team to 100 for three. As we've got another chance of a run out. If that hits, there's going to be danger, danger. No high voltage going around. Fernando to Root. That's pulled away. That's going to be four more. Beautiful stuff from Root. We're going to need a skipper's innings. Bairstow with a beautiful looking shot. Now, Root has been absolute lights out so far. Bairstow, a little bit inconsistent, but Root, 133 in the last test. He's been doing pretty well. Bairstow, a couple of 50s in the last test, a couple of 50s in the series before. He's just not gone on and got that big score. The big, t go and tell your mum how well you did score. He's just missing that a little bit at the moment. The ball's in the air. It's a wonderful catch. Joe Root has gone for 31 off 62 balls. Is it a bit of a leading edge? Oh, you see what I've done there? You see what I've done? And Bairstow moves on to a very, very well-made 49. 136 for four beats the outside edge. And this should be Bairstow down the ground. Four. Well batted, sir. Let's just have a look at Johnny Bairstow's stats for the year. Because I do feel like he's having a very... It's a decent year. 750s. That's what I'm talking about. 750s, one century. Averaging 50... And just chipping away. He keeps chipping in without setting the world alight and going on and getting a big score. Stokesy with a big play and miss. 148 for four. And that's a beautiful looking sweep shot. That's going to be four more. Just going to up the aggression of these two. Normally brings with it danger and a wicket. Johnny Bairstow, four. Drilled through mid, mid on. Beautiful shot, mid wicket actually. But oh, well, you know what I mean. It's still, still the leg side. He's still hitting the ball through the leg side. And Stokesy with a boundary off the back foot as well. De Danger, 162 for four. Coming up towards the end of the session, it's not a great shot by Bairstow, but there's enough bat on it to take it past the fielder. 3.15pm, day two, Ben Stokes walking back to the... Oh, it's not out. Oh, how is that not out? Oh, it's missing leg stomp, that's how. That, I should not be a cricket umpire. That, to me, looked pretty out. That one's missing as well. Stokes is under the cosh. And looking like he might get out, but he comes down the ground and plays the only way he knows how. He comes out fighting. Beautiful shot over the top. Now, I've just dropped Strokes' his aggression down, hoping... Oh, no, he's gone for 19. That was coming, wasn't it? That was absolutely coming. He was struggling with the spin. Just Butler, he's gone for three. Now, Butler is someone who is not having the greatest of years. One century to his name. Yeah, that's not great. It's not even spinning a lot, and we're struggling against the spin. Gamage to bet. Oh, that looks like it could be out. Bairstow's gone for 72. We're in strife. We're in strife. We've gone from 175 for four to 181 for seven. And the ball's not even swinging or spinning. Oh, yay, 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 Stuart Broad. That's just a plain miss. I don't think we need the big highlight for that. Shot by Broadie. Now we're into the tail. I think I'm just going to... Oh, no. Ben Code's retired hurt. Ben Code is retired hurt. That is... Abysmal. We've just collapsed. We've done what England do and we've collapsed. However, Anderson and Brody have just added on a whole heap for the last wicket. 244 for nine. It's going to finish. Pushback Mar gets wicket. 42 not out for Brody. Gives them a 62 run lead. And we're going to need Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad at your absolute no wickets. 84 runs behind. End of day two. Not going very well as Anderson swings one round corners and gets Jai Sarir. We needed that. We could do with a little bit more, Jimmy. We could do with a little bit more. Brody, Brody traps him straight in front. Silver goes. Anderson to Mendes. Oh, what a catch. Josh Butler at second slip. If there's a good man to be at second slip, it's probably your wicket keeper. Brody's bowled out. Oh, I'm in spin. Bugger. I didn't want to go to spin just yet, but we are in spin. And Parkinson is going to repay the faith. I got to have faith, the faith, the faith. Corden bowled. Gone. Angelo Matthews goes for 32. Come on, Ben Stokes. Come on, Ben Stokes. Nothing from Ben Stokes. Okay. Silver's in. He's on 43. De Silva is batting very well. He's gone past 100. These two are in. Silver's gone. 
Bold. Broady. 68. Chandy mailed the man into the crease. How many overs are we down? We're 64 overs down. I think we're going to have to bring out a consolation bowler. It's going to be Joe Root. Joe Root into the attack. Spin from both ends. Now we'll take the new ball. It's just a time of uh, buying time to get ready for the new ball. And take the new ball, we will. Chandy Mellon De Silva. They've got a 400 run lead. We're just at the end of day three. The pitch is slowly starting to break down. And I've got a terrible, terrible feeling about what the outcome of this test match is going to be. De Silva goes past 200. What a knock that is for that man. Brody and Parkinson just looking to plug away. 438 for six. Plus, they had about an 80 run lead from the first innings. Parkinson gets another wicket. He goes for 21. In fact, Parkinson's going to get another wicket, 439 for 8. Parkinson with another, gives him 3. He'll be feeling a bit better about life. Broad to push back Amara, gets the wicket, 507 run lead. Parkinson, 4 wickets in the game. In the game, in the innings. Oh, De Silva, 208, man. Seriously, what a series that man's having. 508 runs to win. Average pitch, good bounce. Oh, no. Gamage, Hamid, Hoy oh, beats the outside edge. Now, we've gone for chances, beats the outside edge. There's an hour left to go of the first of five sessions. Push Pakamara to Alistair Cook, beats the outside edge. If we can, I'm going to jinx it, if we can get through a session without losing a wicket, Cook's in the air, Cook has gone for 29. Oh no, we're going to keep losing wickets. Danger to Joe Root. Oh, that looks pretty close. Gone, Root is gone for one. That is not what we need. Oh no, Will Root the other end. Walking wicket, Will Root. It's outside the line. This is this is relentless. This is absolutely relentless. These are just chances. We're playing and missing more than we know what to do with. We get through to T. 429 to win. Four sessions of cricket to go. Can we get through it? We get through the first hour unscathed, and now we're into problems. Push back Amara to Joe Root. To Will Root. Not out. Will Root bordering on scoring 50 here as well. That'll be a very, very good 50. Edges the ball away. And that's going to take him through. Two, is it a f second test match 50? Two 50s, 100, averaging 51 from four tests. That's pretty good. Bit bit aggressive when I call him a walking wicket when he's averaging 50 in test match. Cricket, he edges that one though. And push back tomorrow with the catch. Oh, 20 minutes to go. No, we're going to lose a wicket just before the end of the day. The end of the day. Hoist beat the outside edge of Bearstow when we get through to the end of day four. 353 runs to win. Average bounce, average wear, and a hell of a lot of hard work to go. Hasib Hamid. Oh, no. No, he's gone for 52. He's made 50, but f falling apart on the end of the day. Fernando Bearstow beats the outside edge. Oh, oh it's so close, boys. It's so close. I've gone to average. Average highlights. We'll see some boundaries. Besto drives well. Beautiful shot. That is going to beat the field. And no, it's not. There's going to be a direct hit. And we could be in trouble of a run out. You've got to run. You've got to run. Ooh, maybe it's down as an inside edge. I don't know why that... I don't know why that warranted the big highlight. It was just a two to the boundary. Stokes on strike. 227 for four. Oh, that's turning miles. They've taken the new ball. Besto played and missed twice. Stokes played and missed once. Hammy played and missed three times. Root, twice. There's a lot going on. Bairstow on strike. Holy moly, we're trying to save a test match here, son. He starts pumping the new ball over the top. Stokes on strike. Beautiful back foot drive through point. That's going to be four. Fernando to Bairstow. Oh, that's ran down beautifully. Four more. 255 runs to win. The runs to win is not the option here. It is all about batting time. And we bat another session. 245 runs to win. Two sessions of cricket to go, boys. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Bairstow's gone for another 50. It's 72 for Bairstow. Stokesy on strike. Back foot drive beats the fielder. That's going to be four runs. The funny thing is, and I'm going to jinx it, if we bat this session with wickets in hand, you just never know if we can get close enough to have a bash in the last hour. If Josh Butler's got anything to do about it, yes, we will, because they've got no mid-off in place. That's a beautiful shot. Four more. Eight off the over. Push back Amara. Tosses it up again. Whipped into the mid-wicket region. Four more for him. 50 for Stokes down the other end. Push back Amara. Maiden so far into Butler. Off the back foot gone. 
19. 218 runs to win. Stokesy on strike. Driven four. Nice shot, sir. Got an hour and 15 minutes left of this session. There's too many highlights for my liking. Feel like we're just about to fall apart. Sixer for Stokesy. We're still trying to save the test match, mate. Just if you didn't know, that's what's going on. Oh, Brody with a play and miss. I'm just going to drop his aggression down. He's up to 20 balls face. Not bad and drives down the ground. That's going to be four for Brody. Beautiful shot. We're up to 315 and Brody has gone. Parkinson on strike. Stokes. Oh, he plays and misses. We've got 30 minutes to get through to the final session. Or oh, the spin, con the spin control that they've got just going to take control of the game. Parkinson smashes a boundary over the top through mid wicket off the back foot. And then comes down the ground and plays a beautiful cover drive for four. That's quite nice. There's too many runs to win. Run runs to win is out of the equation. There's 175 to go. It's just about bad in time. That's a great shot by Parkinson. We get through to T. Can we bat five sessions? 167 runs to win. Stokes is batting well. Parkinson's hanging in there. But it's hard. You've got to start yourself again into the last session, don't you? 342 for seven. Beautiful shot for, through the leg side for four. Stokesy. Oh, it's a Chinese cut, but he gets fortunate. The ball's going to run away for four. 80 for Ben Stokes as he cuts that away for four. That's a beautiful shot. Hour and 22 to go. 3 6 3 for 7. It just takes one wicket to completely change the game, and Parkinson has gone stumped for 28. We've got a retired. Oh my God, we're into the last wicket. We are into the last wicket. An hour and 22 to go. We're literally trying to hang on. By a thread, and Jimmy Anderson has gone second ball. Sri Lanka win the test match by 144 runs. Just didn't do enough with the ball. That 445 that they scored was just way too many. We go 1-0 down in the series. And next episode, guys, we are playing to try and get a result out of this test series. Otherwise, we are going to go down dismally in Sri Lanka. You've been legends, boys. Till next time.